whilst we talk a lot about elimination, control, even eradication, that can only be done within the context of the capacity of the health system to deliver the necessary interventions in the first place. Unless we actually strengthen that and recognise that our work on disease, it doesn't matter if it's malaria, HIV, TB or neglected diseases, is within the framework of a health system, then we cannot expect any results. We've been talking about onchocerciasis in particular and lymphatic filariasis over the last week. And there's a lot of interest in this area about what is going to happen after the closure of APOC. The focus has been elimination of onchocerciasis over the last few years. But the successes of APOC are not about getting rid of the last parasite in certain settings. Actually, it's the fact that 50 million of the 100 million annual treatments in the Onco program were undertaken in communities that were more than 20 kilometers from a health center or from a health facility of any kind. So this means that actually that program got the ultimate reach to people who would never get any health care at all and we should build on that. But at the forefront of our mind with all these NTD programs, in my view, should how can we get quality products accepted by communities, that the communities accept them and adhere to the regimes that are recommended. That will make a difference, but only if we have a strong health system to get the products as far as we possibly can will we actually succeed.